What's up and welcome to K Plus Gaming Corner. And in this Gotham Knights video, I'm sharing some tips on what to look out for when it comes to crafting gear and managing your mod chips to make sure you're getting the most out of your characters, whether you're playing as Nightwing, Robin, Batgirl, or my favorite character, Red Hood. When it comes to crafting gear, early on you're pretty much working with whatever you can get, but as you progress on your way to level 30 and you start completing those challenges and finding those chests, you're going to start acquiring more rare and epic blueprints for crafting. As is standard in these games, the rare items are marked as blue, the epic is going to be purple. What you want to pay attention to are how many mod slots the items are coming with, whether they're suits, melee, or ranged weapons. The good rare items in their blueprints can often drop with one or two mod slots to equip your mod chips, while epic items can have up to three. Epic blueprints with three mod slots are going to be harder to come by though, so if you get one that has two, that works just fine. You'll also want to make sure you're stockpiling the appropriate crafting materials so you can craft these items, which you'll get as you solve crimes and take out enemies on the street and also through progressing the storyline, so you'll have plenty. You can also dismantle any gear you don't need, which will also give you some good crafting materials in a pinch. The next things you'll want to pay attention to are the attributes these items are coming with. Do they have any elemental effects, increasing your critical damage? Some enemies are weak against certain elemental effects while immune to others. For example, those gladiator talents are especially susceptible to cryogenic damage, but if you're hitting them with toxic, they're basically ignoring you with contempt. Some good weaknesses to keep in mind when equipping your gear and weapons are the concussive element which is most effective against regulators and also Harley Quinn, bioelectric is great against mob enemies, cryogenic is strong against court of owl enemies like those feral talons and those gladiators. You'll want the incendiary fire effect for Mr. Freeze and the regulators as well as for Clayface and also those annoying League of Shadow ninjas and toxic is a good bet to use against the freaks. As I mentioned before, you'll want to make sure you have enough crafting materials so you can craft those blueprints as you get them, but as you move into those higher tiers like the epics and especially the legendary items, those materials get harder and harder to come by. These include Promethium which is dropped by regulators, programmable nano capsules which drop from the freaks, pseudoderm which drop from the mob, and then nth metal which is extremely important as that's what you'll need to craft legendary items. For the nth metal, your best bet is to search the city for wanted criminals, those with actual names and the skulls on them, and your best bet to finding them is at crimes with the very high difficulty ratings. It is possible that nth metal can drop from any enemy, but it's so rare that I'd just recommend going after those wanted criminals. To get those very high crimes to appear and increase your chances of finding those wanted criminals, each night you'll want to interrogate as many street criminals as you can find, complete as many premeditated and also regular street crimes as you can manage in a given Gotham night, turn those in at the Belfry, and the next night you go out you should see at least a few. The more high and very high crimes you can complete, the better your odds. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on crafting or if you have a faster and more efficient way to get your hands on that nth metal because I'd love to know. Moving on to the mod chips, this is just as important as the blueprints since this is how you're going to take your gear to the next level. You'll want at least two and ideally three mod slots on all three gear pieces and you'll want to do your best to keep those mods at the maximum level you can equip. Being under leveled when it comes to gear and mods makes the game way harder than it needs to be, especially for someone like me who plays on hard mode. So if your character is at level 25 or 30, or even 40 if you're new game plus, make sure you're equipping and upgrading those weapons and mods accordingly. A great way to upgrade those mod chips is through the process of fusing. Just like gear and blueprints, the mods come in different rarities ranging from white commons to yellow legendaries and orange heroics. Obviously, the higher the rarity, the better the mod, so you'll want at least epic mods and at your current level if you can help it. To fuse mod chips, you'll need to select four mods, and these can be of any rarity, and then you can combine them to create one stronger mod chip. You can turn four white commons into green uncommons, greens to blues, and blues to purples. Unfortunately, you can't fuse an upgrade to heroic or legendary, at least not that I know of. The highest rarity you can upgrade and fuse to are purple epics. Different combinations of blues and greens and purples will all have different outcomes and I've included a table here from the website segmentnext.com so credit to them. This should give an easy visual for you to screenshot and refer to. 
you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for opportunities to get those heroic and legendary mods. These can be obtained by completing missions and challenges and getting those premeditated crimes completed. The higher the level of the crime, the better the chance of getting a legendary or heroic. There you have it, just a few quick tips when it comes to mods and crafting, and some things I wish I knew earlier. Hope this info has been helpful, and if you enjoyed this content, do hit the like button and give a nice thumbs up, it's really appreciated, and if you want to stay posted on when new videos are dropping or whenever I'm streaming live, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bar to see what's coming next. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and with that, until next time, peace.